Hello people, today I will be showing you uh, one of my latest projects, which is a Hugo theme that I have called Cyberscape. I have called it. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, Cyberscape is a lively and fun Hugo theme for creating personal websites. And I am hosting a demo here on cyberscape.isaac.me, so you can uh, check it out. So... Uh, this is, uh, as I said, a Hugo theme. And if you're not familiar with Hugo, this is a very great framework for building static websites. And uh, as well as being just a normal Hugo theme, I've added Tailwind styling. So it's very easy to, uh, yeah, like I say here, quickly try out new designs. And uh, we have some multiple pages we can uh, look at. And yeah, so in this video, I thought I'd uh, just quickly show you how to set this up. So if you want to use this theme, I have written some documentation right here. So we start by creating a new Hugo website. So how do we do that? We actually have to check out the docs. Getting started, overview, or getting started, quick start. What do we do? Hugo, new site, quick start. Okay, so I've opened my terminal and uh, whoops, and I'll now run Hugo, new site, and uh, the name of the site. So let's call it uh, personal, personal, yeah. Hugo, new site, personal, because this will be a personal website. And it's now in the folder personal. I can open it and see that there are some files here. And if I now do Hugo server, it's going to boot up on localhost 1313. And yeah, as of right now, we haven't added anything. So it's going to say page not found. So yeah, like I said, I have written some documentation in my repository for my theme. So what you do here is you copy this line. And first you make sure that this is a Git project uh, in your new Hugo website. Then you do git sub module add and a link to my uh, theme. And what we say here is that, okay, let's put this theme into the folder themes slash cyberscape. So if we now check out the stuff, we have a folder called themes. We can go into that. We can see that, okay, here is the cyberscape theme. So yeah, that's that. And then we open hugo.toml and change the theme to cyberscape. So let's do that. I'll open, uh, what was it, hugo.toml, and maybe I don't even have it, so I'll create a new file, paste my stuff, and write it, and then we do this, we navigate to the themes directory, then we install the dependencies, which in this case is only Tailwind, I'm pretty sure of, let's check that. The dependencies are, yep, it's uh, just Tailwind. And we also got this uh, handy watch command. So when doing development uh, with Tailwind, uh, we have to watch the project for any changes so it can generate uh, uh, CSS for the project. So here I can do npm run watch and uh, the Tailwind project is uh, running and it's nice and smoothly. And I can maybe spawn a new terminal window and uh, go back. And from here, we will yeah, open NeoVim and maybe the start uh, project. Okay, it's now running on localhost 1313. Let's check it out. And boom, there we have it. It's already up and running. So now we can start customizing stuff. So let's say that we don't want this to be called Cyberscape anymore, but something more fitting like... Uh, Maybe we want to call this uh, uh, personal website. Welcome to my personal website. And I can maybe add an emoji. Or can I do that? A heart emoji. Blue heart. Glowing heart. Looks nice. Okay, save that. And let's see. Welcome to my personal website. This is great. And then we can change some text. This is where I post my poems. Maybe we want uh, this text to be red. I can use the Tailwind style, so text red 600 per se. And boom, it's all everything is working. So I also added support for multiple pages, or right now it's just showing a 404, but I can show you how, how that would work. So if I just move myself over here. And if we go to the content, 
perhaps. Let me double check this real quick. So I also created a demo uh, repository for my demo. Let's see how this is done. Inside content, yeah, we can just put some markdown files straight into this content file. So here we can create a new page that we call the markdown, since that was uh, the page we had uh, tried uh, setting up. And if we now write something here, I am a markdown file. Save that. Check out the local host. I am a markdown file now shows up here. And if I'm not mistaken, we can simply write HTML inside this markdown file if we want to uh, do something. So let's say we want some background color here. I can just here as well use the uh, Tailwind styles. Let's give it some blue background color and I have a background color. This is great. Save that and boom! It's already working. So yeah, I hope you want to check out this project and make something cool. Uh, I will be linking uh, a bunch of uh, fun websites in the description of this video that you can check out and get inspired by. And uh, yeah, just uh, try it out. Give it a star on GitHub if you like the project. And uh, later! Woo!